Inside the brain you have two different plumbing systems. This one is currently configured to do aeration and circulation. So we can set this pump up. It's Right now it's connected to the 250 gallon per hour pump. So we'd set this one up and it'll run all the time. And it's a real low watt pump so you don't have to worry about it heating your res up. And this one will jet water out of these nozzles and blow it down into the water that's contained within the brain area here. And that will flow back out through this reservoir bulkhead or this bulkhead into the reservoir with the filter on top of it and that will keep the level constant so that it doesn't flood over here and into the tray. So with this pump running 24 hours a day you're creating an oxygenated reservoir you're adding a little bit of moisture into the air just by the the action of the water here which keeps a nice cool mist going through here and it seems to me that these jets also serve a bit of a cooling function the way that it moves the water through so even with a little bit of heat input that that motor provides on that pump it's counteracted by the fact that you have this constant flow and the increased aeration by adding that in there so when we turn on this pump here you can see it sprays pretty hard with these little jets and all these bubbles in here are going to be aerating your mixture, keeping everything perfectly blended up so that you don't have any nutrients sinking to the bottom of the reservoir. Um, and you can set this one up right down here, kind of like a little smiley face, aiming down, and it'll just continue to circulate that water and keep everything aerated. Now the next pump is the ebb and flow pump or the nutrient film pump, whatever you want to use it for. This one is right now connected to the 400 gallon per hour pump so that you get maximum flow into the tray area. So when you turn on this pump, it will spray a jet of water out here into the tray and flood your tray. So the water is going to flood out this direction. And you can't quite see it in this shot, but what it does is it goes out this way, it turns around at the end, and then it comes back and it ends up at this drain and this drain over here. And those little drains are, are sized to allow for maximum flow here so that you get a good recirculation so even during your ebb and flow cycle you're getting uh, you know the tray is being filled several times with freshly aerated water and it flows out here and it'll slowly start to build up now the beauty of this design here is that everything is available at the front so even though it's a directional flow you don't have to go to the other end to access the drains. Everything that's in here flows back to itself. So with the reservoir right underneath here, you're able to access all of your plumbing right up here on the front. Because once your plants are built in or grown up, you know, and the lid is sitting in here and these plants are growing way up, it's, uh, it's still accessible here. You don't have to reach way back in there or get to the back side if you're in a, a tent that locks your tree frog in. Uh, you can get to everything from right here at the front. Now this pump over here, the 400 gallon per hour pump, like I said right now it's set up for an ebb and flow, but if you wanted to change that flow, there's a valve right down here at the bottom of each of these pumps, or each of these nozzles, and you can turn that flow way down, put it down like this, and it's more of a nutrient film type setup. Uh, 